Hola, ¿qué tal? Buenas tardes. Antes que nada, quiero darle las gracias a Dios por esta oportunidad. A PBC, Amazon Prime Video, a Shanji, Bonsamani, Paquia Promotion por esta, por esta gran oportunidad. A Rolly Romero por tomarnos en cuenta. A Luisito de Cubas. Y bueno, nos estamos preparando muy bien y no vamos a desaprovechar esta oportunidad. Muchas gracias. Uh, thank you all so much for being here. I would first of all like to thank PBC, Amazon Prime Video, Louis de Cuba, Strong Gibbons, Manny Pacquiao Promotions, and everyone that's making this fight possible. Rolly Romero as well for making it happen. And you know, we'll be, we'll be happy to give out a show on March 30th. You're going to see a great show. All right, thank you very much. His opponent is the defending world champion. His record 15 and 1 with 13 knockouts. He has it all. He has speed, he has agility, he has power, and he has the title. He won the title with TKO in his last fight over Ismael Barroso in May. Please welcome the WBA super lightweight champion of the world, Rolando Roli Romero. How's everybody doing? Uh, I'm just blessed to be kicking off Amazon Prime. I want to thank my manager, Louis DeCuba Jr. and Al Heyman and the Mayweather Promotions team, of course. Thank you. Erislandi, sos el campeón mundial más veterano de la actualidad en el boxeo. Tu oponente tiene 10 años menos. ¿Qué tipo de prueba crees que esta va a ser para ti? ¿Qué tenés que probar por ti mismo? Bueno, primero que todo, este... Sí, mi oponente es un boxeador más joven que yo, pero para mí no significa nada, ya que yo me siento igual, como, casi no lo mismo, ¿no? pero me siento, gracias a Dios, me siento bien, me siento fuerte, y con la preparación que he tenido durante años y mi condición física y mi, y mi experiencia de boxeo, creo que no voy a tener ningún tipo de problema con él. Uh, look, I feel good, I feel strong, and I don't really feel like I need uh, to prove much of anything at all. All I need to do is to show, showcase who I am, and I don't think I'm going to have much trouble with him to begin with. Edislandi, I noticed that since you've moved up to middleweight, you've had two knockouts in a row to win the title and then to defend it. Um, have you added more power to your arsenal, and are folks um, underestimating your power? Bueno, has tenido dos knockouts recientemente, uno para ganar tu título, el otro para defenderlo. ¿Sentís que has, le has agregado poder a tu arsenal y que también quizás eh, están subestimando tu potencia? Este, yo creo que la, solamente la experiencia, la experiencia en el boxeo y, y las grandes peleas que he tenido y la posibilidad del knockout, tú sabes, yo nunca he salido a buscar un knockout, pero gracias a Dios se me ha dado la oportunidad y he terminado bien. Uh, it, it all comes down to the experience I've gained from boxing, and I've been fortunate to be able to go out there, get some knockouts, and that's what I've been doing. Thank you very much. 12 rounds, our second fight. 12 rounds for the WBA Middleweight Championship of the World, Erislandi Lara versus Michael Zara. Isak Pitbull Cruz. Isak, in your first fight against Gervonta Davis, your first world title attempt, you gave him fits for 12 rounds. What did you learn from that experience, and what from that will you bring into your second attempt for a world title? Isaac, cuando peleaste contra Gervonta Davis, lo hiciste sufrir y mucho durante 12 rounds. ¿Qué, ¿Qué aprendiste de esa pelea y qué pensás emplear de esas lecciones para esta pelea por el título? Eh, sí, nos dejó un, un gran aprendizaje esa aquella noche con, con Tank, pero hemos ido a trabajando eh, pelea tras pelea y bueno, que ha, lo mejor es que ha sido arriba del ring y por eso nos hemos ganado nuevamente una segunda oportunidad. Uh, you know, we, we did bring it to Tank, but we have kept working time after time, fight after fight, and that's how we have earned a second chance, a second opportunity to go for the title once again. Now you are ranked one of boxing's top lightweights in the world, yet this fight you'll be moving up to 140 pounds. Is your body telling you to move up or you just had to take this opportunity to fight for a title? Ahora que vas a subir a las 140 libras, ¿sentís que era tu cuerpo el que te pedía subir de peso o es algo que dijiste, tengo esta oportunidad por el título y quiero subir por el cinturón? Eh, pues son ambas cosas, creo que estamos preparados para para sacar avante este compromiso y bueno, seguir demostrando por qué somos uno de los mejores del mundo y que somos mexicanos. 
Uh, look, I just feel like I'm ready for this challenge. I want to show everybody that I'm one of the best in the world and that uh, I'm one proud Mexican fighter that, that can do anything. Yeah, no question. You have gathered boxing fans from around the world. But what would it mean to your Mexican fans, your homeland, to win this world title? ¿Qué significaría para la gente mexicana el verte ganar este título mundial? Pues es algo también que la gente quiere ver, por lo cual yo me estoy preparando para arrebatarle el campeonato del mundo el próximo 30 de, de marzo a Rolly Romero, cueste lo que cueste, y bueno, nos estamos preparando para que el público sea, sea el ganador. I want the fans to be the true winners of the night. That's what I'm preparing for. And that's why I want to go and face Rolly Romero, take the world title away from him, and give the fans what they want to see. All right, let's speak to the world champion at this time. Now, Rolly, you said that you want to become Prime Video's very first superstar. What must you do on March 30th in order to earn that? Well, to become the superstar of Prime Video, I just got to knock him out, right? It must come by knockout. Has to be a knockout. Okay, well, let me ask you this. The current odds are very close, but they have you a slight underdog. Does that motivate you even more? Not really. Odds are just statistics. And uh, they're looking at it like this. He lost to Javante, what, four fights ago? And I've only had one fight since then, so and he's had, what, three or four or something like that? So it's just statistics. And let's just say it like this. I was a huge underdog when I fought Tank, and 80% uh, of people bet on me, so I'm going to bet on Roly. All right, that's your typical confidence. Can you explain what you meant? I read a quote that you meant that you said it's going to be Roly versus a Chihuahua. What, what do you mean by that? Uh, chihuahua, Poodle. Uh, he kind of looks like a pug right now, so yeah, he's a little fat right now. So I'm in self-explanatory. Pitbull, do you understand what he meant by calling you a chihuahua instead of a, a pitbull? Bueno, eh, Pitbull, ¿entendés lo que él quiso decir recién? Eh, te llamó de todo, incluyendo chihuahua. ¿Qué tenés que decir al respecto? Sí, claro, ahorita yo soy un chihuahua, pero el día de la pelea, la, del día de la pelea él va a ser el verdadero chihuahua. Ahorita toda la gente está riendo, pero el día de la pelea en su casa todos van a estar llorando. Uh, look, I completely understand, but you know what? Let him talk, because in the end, at the end of the fight, he's going to be the true Chihuahua, and he's the one that's going to end up crying. We'll see March 30th, measured by the pay-per-view. March 30th, Amazon Prime.